Well, taking a look at some of the weather hazards hitting the country for the rest of this holiday weekend. We've got one storm system across the southern plains with a little rain on tap tonight into Thanksgiving Day. It looks like southeastern Texas may get a little stormy too, but that's really the only spot. Now going into Friday, there's not much going on. A cold front's going to be moving through the East Coast, but there's not a lot of rain with it, so travel hazards are pretty minimal. Now, we'll be watching for a more potent storm system developing across the Southern Plains on Saturday, and it's going to be heading toward the Northeast as we continue into Sunday. Pacific Northwest will also have some wind and snow to deal with. So if you're flying across the country, uh, if you're flying back into New England, you've got friends and family who are leaving New England, may have some bumps in the road on Sunday. And in terms of flying, Light travel. It doesn't look like a ton of delays are expected any day during the holiday weekend. I think the best shot at seeing any flight delays is actually going to be with that storm system Saturday evening into Sunday. And it looks like, you know, Sunday morning it'll be out, you know, St. Louis and Nashville, the Ohio Valley, and we'll eventually head toward the Northeast where we could have just a few minor delays, not expecting anything big weather wise. Today's high temperatures across the country, well, they're in the process of filling in, but we ended up seeing temperatures get back to around 50 here in Western Mass. And Thanksgiving Day all across the Northeast is still going to be a seasonably mild day. High temperatures look to get back into the middle 40s, possibly even a few upper 40s, and low 50s down toward Hartford. Boston, mid 40s, province about 48. The Cape and Islands will end up middle to upper 40s as well, and we will all have good sunshine for Thanksgiving Day. Taking a closer look at your Thanksgiving forecast, maybe you're flying out early tomorrow morning to go see friends and family. 30 degrees at uh, Bradley in the morning, so a little cold, a little frosty. A lot of sunshine for the afternoon with light wind, so again, no flight delays expected due to weather. And as far as tomorrow evening, we'll have a gradual buildup of cloud cover, but we're still dry and still cool. So taking a look at the satellite and radar loop, this batch of showers here not really impacting us. We actually have this cold front dipping down from the north and west. Very little moisture with it as we continue into Friday. We'll go to our future cast, which shows again quiet weather conditions for tomorrow. Light breezes coming in mostly out of the south and southwest for tomorrow afternoon. We'll start seeing high clouds build in tomorrow evening, and those clouds will thicken up for Friday morning. Now the timing of the rain Friday has sped up a little bit, so it looks like mid to late morning we'll have showers, and those showers could taper off as soon as the early afternoon. Here we are at 11 a.m. There's not much going on and then 4 p.m. We should be dry. We're just fairly cloudy and it's going to be blustery. Wind out of the north and west could gust 20 to 30 miles an hour Friday evening. So keep that in mind if you're out and about Friday night and we're going to stay a little blustery as we continue into Saturday, but it is going to be a dry start to the day. So we are expecting more rounds of soaking rain Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. It'll be blustery Sunday night and Monday, but we turn drier and cooler. A little chilly Tuesday and then we're milder Wednesday to wrap up the month with some scattered showers. Showers will exit early Thursday and we're chilly and breezy as we head toward the first weekend of December. Back to you guys. Jim.